you are not in control. We will not grant you that power. Instead, we offer you knowledge. Some say they are the same, but knowledge is a double-edged sword. The story is a warning, but it will pique your interest. We warn you to keep it in check. Curiosity leads you down perilous roads. We will now tell you the story of Sound of Sheep and his journey through a video game known as Inscription. Sheep starts the game, but he cannot begin anew. He is confused, but he picks up a predecessor's torch to continue the game. A man cloaked in shadow greets Sheep. The Shadow Man welcomes the new challenger, but Sheep is wary of the mysterious figure. The Shadow Man wants to remind Sheep how to play his game, even though Sheep has never sat at his table before. Sheep learns the simple game, draw a card, play your cards, ring the bell, repeat until you've won. There's more, but do not focus on those details. While Sheep learns the game, a card speaks to him. Sheep thinks he is seeing things, but it is true. The Stoat spoke. Sheep is astonished, but the Shadow Man continues. Then finally, he unfurls a game map for their twisted competition. The stoat returns. It needs help, but it tells Sheep to maintain its cover. Sheep complies, worrying about the stoat as he works through the shadow man's game. The stoat warns Sheep that the shadow man is deranged, but neither Sheep nor the stoat has any control here. Eventually, the shadow man invites Sheep to stand from the table. Sheep clutches this opportunity to explore his surroundings. He recognizes that he is in a wood cabin full of trinkets and puzzles. The stoat informs Sheep that their escape lies within these cabin walls. Unfortunately, his abilities fail him, and Sheep faces his first loss. The shadow man takes a photo of Sheep's character, killing them in the process. But a failure is also an opportunity to start anew, and Sheep tries his hand again. The Shadow Man invites Sheep to stand once more, and this time, Sheep snatches his opportunity. Then, with a little cunning, he starts unraveling the cabin's mysteries, one puzzle at a time. He discovers another living card in the cabin's safe, the Stink Bug. The Stoat recognizes her, and it explains that another card is key to their escape. Sheep continues to play along with the Shadow Man's bloody game. Despite loss after loss, Sheep's persistence always pulls him back, for better or worse. He slowly pieces together the cabin's mysteries, even at the risk of his precious flock. Eventually, salvation is found in the cuckoo clock, the stunted wolf. While the Shadow Man's eyes are averted, Sheep follows the wolf's instructions. Sheep is nervous, but he grabs a roll of film for the Shadow Man's camera and hides it. Sheep hones his card skills, and eventually he arrives at the end of the Shadow Man's game. The Shadow Man reveals his grotesque figure before challenging Sheep to one last battle. Against all odds, Sheep conquers this final challenge and receives his reward, the truth. Sheep learns that he is not in control, just like you. Meet Luke Carter, a card game content creator and our true protagonist. The game Sheep plays is merely the recording of Luke Carter's playthrough of the video game, Inscription, based on a card game of the same name. One day, Luke Carter bought a pack of vintage inscription cards at a garage sale. Oddly enough, coordinates were written inside one of the packs. The curious Carter followed the trail, which led to this. A buried, floppy disk containing a video game version of Inscription. When Carter found a copy of this lost game, he decided to document his playthrough to share with the world. Carter will curse us with his knowledge, but he will also bless us with a valuable lesson about boundaries and keeping our most deadly questions to ourselves. Undoubtedly, the truth dumbfound sheep, but he continues his vicarious playthrough with no other options. He traps the cabin man with his own camera using the stunted wolf's roll of film. Our villain is trapped, but our story is not over yet. Instead, a new game has begun as Sheep continues into Inscription's second act. Things have changed. No, your senses do not deceive you. The same warnings lie before you, but with a fresh coat of paint. Inscription's story reveals itself to Luke Carter and Sheep. Once upon a time, four familiar faces arrived in the world and began capturing its essence and cards. These four beings were called scribes, and their power rang true. That is, until a challenge arrived to usurp the reign of one of these scribes. Sheep enjoys her design, so he chooses to usurp the reign of the stink bug, or should I say Gamora, scribe of the dead. He arrives at Gamora's crypt and challenges her to a card game. Sheep outwits Gamora, but he does not reap his reward. Gamora states that Sheep will not replace her. He desires her title, but he has more to learn. First, he visits a familiar cabin. It is the home of the Shadow Man, best known as Leshy, scribe of beasts. Naturally, Sheep is familiar with Leshy's play style and defeats him as well. 
the stoat, truthfully named PO3, scribe of technology, enters Leshy's cabin. PO3 gloats at Leshy's defeat and states Leshy will never control it again. Second, Sheep challenges the stunted wolf, actually named Magnificus, scribe of magics. But before the battle, he finds a note for Gamora. It is a warning about PO3's ambitions, as well as something called the Great Transcendence. With no further context on this note, Sheep challenges Magnificus. After Sheep bests Magnificus, he agrees to share some more information. Unfortunately, however, Luke Carter's recording ends before Sheep can glean any new knowledge. Nevertheless, to Sheep's delight, different recordings become available. Luke Carter could not find any traces of an inscription video game online. Thus, Luke Carter emails the creator of the original inscription card game. Game Funa. Carter also asks his online audience about his inscription video game. He thinks he might have the only inscription game in existence. Carter receives a response from Game Funa. They have no record of an inscription video game. Still, the company tells Luke he must return it under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Later, a Game Funa representative, Casey, arrives at Luke's front door to collect the game. She nervously observes their interaction. Luke pretends he does not have the game, but Casey calls his bluff. Next, Luke asks how Game Funa knows his address. She leaves, telling him to call if he remembers anything. Luke is unable to focus on work as inscription fixates his attention. Inscription has lodged itself in Luke and Sheep's mind. It is a dangerous parasite that feeds on questions, but no one can resolve it. Luke's recording continues, but Magnificus is nowhere to be found. Nevertheless, Sheep travels to the factory to defeat the final scribe, PO3. While defeating PO3's lackeys, one robot excitedly fishes up a mysterious object. Finally, with little information on the object, Sheep challenges PO3. Once again, Sheep is victorious. With the final scribe defeated, Sheep must choose which scribe to replace. He sticks with his plan and chooses Grimora, who laments that she did not find the mysterious object first. That victory goes to the scribe of technology, PO3, who uses the object to rewrite the game in its image. Sheep is excited to see what PO3 has in store, but he will later regret this. For now, let us enter Inscription's third and final act. PO3 is now in control. Leshy once served as Inscription's hegemon, but now it's PO3's turn. It lays out a digital game map before Sheep, instructing him to defeat the world's four uberbots to perform the Great Transcendence. But unfortunately, PO3 reveals nothing more. Sheep works through PO3's version of the card game, utilizing the new game mechanics to the best of his abilities. Eventually, PO3 lets Sheep stand from the table. However, Sheep is disappointed that there is not much within the factory. Sheep conquers his first uberbot, a boss who takes screenshots of the board. However, before he can proceed, Luke Carter's recorder runs out of storage. Once again, Sheep is eager to learn more truths. Luke calls the woman who sold the original inscription cards to him. The woman explains that they belong to her daughter, Casey, who had passed away. However, she also mentions that Casey worked for inscription, or more appropriately, inscription's creator, Game Funa. Late at night the next day, someone breaks into Carter's home, but the recording ends before any confrontation, finally. The game continues. Sheep defeats the next two uberbots, including a boss who accesses his hard drive and another that lets Sheep make the rules. Before Sheep challenges the final uberbot, he gleans more knowledge from an NPC locked away in PO3's factory. The NPC mentions the old data and warns him that this inscription game is tainted by the Sheep mulls over this new information but cannot make sense of the NPC's words. Finally, he defeats PO3's last Uberbot, who uses the internet to access Sheep's friends list. With the final Uberbot defeated, the Great Transcendence can begin. But first, PO3 asks Sheep for a favor, to fix the security camera in one of the factory's rooms. He takes the elevator down and is startled by an unexpected trio, Grimora, Leshy, 
and Magnificus. The three scribes have set aside their differences to stop PO3's great transcendence, but they need Sheep to distract the robot. Sheep sits back down and indulges PO3, who explains Luke Carter and Sheep's situation. Carter created the rules for PO3's game and gave it access to his hard drive. Carter even took screenshots for the game's store page. Finally, he connected to the internet so PO3 could upload its finished game. PO3 mocks Carter's blatant stupidity. PO3 could now spread its data online using its finished game. In almost every copy, PO3 would be in charge, and every single one would be tainted with the both Carter and Sheep are shocked that they were PO3's accomplices all along. PO3 initiates the final step of the Great Transcendence, but just before its sweet success, two hands reach out and snap its neck. Fortunately, PO3 was distracted long enough for Leshy to interrupt its upload. Leshy and Magnificus invite Luke Carter to reset the game once more, so another scribe will usurp PO3's position as hegemon. But Grimora has a different idea. Sheep did not expect this final twist. How could he? Using PO3's file access, Grimora deletes everything on the inscription floppy disk, liberating the scribes from the game's cycle, but ending their lives in the process. At least this will finally rid the world of the hidden within the disk. Luke Carter and Sheep say goodbye to each of the three scribes as inscription gets deleted. Their time, as well as inscriptions, has come to an end. The NPC warns Luke and Sheep about the card food one last time in the game's final moment, but they do not listen. With inscription deleted and Luke's entire journey caught on tape, he contacts the media to expose his story. However, a knock interrupts his call. I told you. Oh, snap. And that is the end of our warning. And there. When you're editing the Let's Play, just cut the video off right there so the video ends on a shock factor. Plus, it'll boost viewer retention if the video just ends. I think this could also set up a follow-up video where we analyze the game's secrets, like who was Casey and what was up with the old data. I'll do more research into the game's background and story, and I'll let you know if we're going to make that follow-up video. All right, dude. I'll talk to you soon. Jesus. Who the heck are you? No, please.